142. I swear by the beauty of the well-beloved, this is the mercy that hath encompassed the entire creation, the day whereon the grace of God hath permeated and pervaded all things. The living waters of my mercy, O Ali, are fast pouring down, and mine heart is melting with the heat of my tenderness and love. At no time have I been able to reconcile myself to the afflictions befalling my loved ones or to any trouble that could becloud the joy of their hearts. Every time my name, the All-Merciful, was told that one of my lovers had breathed a word that runneth counter to my wish, it repaired grief-stricken and disconsolate to its abode. And whenever my name, the Concealer, discovered that one of my followers had inflicted any shame or humiliation on his neighbor, it likewise turned back chagrined and sorrowful to its retreats of glory, and there wept and mourned with a sore lamentation. And whenever my name, the Ever-Forgiving, perceived that any one of my friends had committed any transgression, it cried out in its great distress, and overcome with anguish, fell upon the dust, and was borne away by a company of the invisible angels to its habitation in the realms above. By myself, the true one, O Ali, the fire that hath inflamed the heart of Baha is fiercer than the fire that gloweth in thine heart, and his lamentation louder than thy lamentation. Every time the sin committed by any one amongst them was breathed in the court of his presence, the ancient beauty would be so filled with shame as to wish he could hide the glory of his countenance from the eyes of all men, for he hath at all times fixed his gaze on their fidelity and observed its essential requisites. The words thou hast written have, as soon as they were read in my presence, caused the ocean of my fidelity to surge within me and the breeze of my forgiveness to be wafted over thy soul and the tree of my loving kindness to overshadow thee and the clouds of my bounty to rain down upon thee their gifts. I swear by the day star that shineth above the horizon of eternity, I sorrow for thee in thy grief, and lament with thee in thy tribulation. I bear witness to the services thou hast rendered me, and testify to the various troubles thou hast sustained for my sake. All the atoms of the earth declare my love for thee. The call thou didst raise, O Ali, is highly acceptable in my sight. Proclaim with both thy pen and tongue my cause. Cry out and summon the people to him who is the sovereign Lord of all worlds with such zeal and fervor that all men may be set on fire by thee. Say, O my Lord, my best beloved, the mover of my actions, the lodestar of my soul, the voice that crieth in mine inmost being, the object of mine heart's adoration. Praise be to thee for having enabled me to turn my face towards thee, for having set my soul ablaze through remembrance of thee for having aided me to proclaim thy name and to sing thy praises. My God, my God, if none be found to stray from thy path, how then can the ensign of thy mercy be unfurled, or the banner of thy bountiful favor be hoisted? And if iniquity be not committed, what is it that can proclaim thee to be the concealer of men's sins, the ever-forgiving, the omniscient, the all-wise. 
May my soul be a sacrifice to the trespasses of them that trespass against thee. For upon such trespasses are wafted the sweet savours of the tender mercies of thy name, the Compassionate, the All-Merciful. May my life be laid down for the transgressions of such as transgress against thee. For through them the breath of thy grace and the fragrance of thy loving kindness are made known and diffused amongst men. May my inmost being be offered up for the sins of them that have sinned against thee. For it is as a result of such sins that the day star of thy manifold favours revealeth itself above the horizon of thy bounty, and the clouds of thy never-failing providence rain down their gifts upon the realities of all created things. I am he, O my Lord, that hath confessed to thee the multitude of his evil doings, that hath acknowledged what no man hath acknowledged. I have made haste to attain unto the ocean of thy forgiveness, and have sought shelter beneath the shadow of thy most gracious favour. Grant, I beseech thee, O thou who art the everlasting King and the sovereign protector of all men, that I may be enabled to manifest that which shall cause the hearts and souls of men to soar in the limitless immensity of thy love and to commune with thy spirit. Strengthen me through the power of thy sovereignty that I may turn all created things towards the dayspring of thy manifestation and the source of thy revelation. Aid me, O my Lord, to surrender myself wholly to thy will and to arise and serve thee. For I cherish this earthly life for no other purpose than to compass the tabernacle of thy revelation and the seat of thy glory. Thou seest me, O my God, detached from all else but thee, and humble and subservient to thy will. Deal with me as it beseemeth thee, and as it befitteth thy highness and great glory. O Ali, the bounty of him who is the Lord of all worlds hath been and is still being vouchsafed unto thee. Arm thyself with his strength and power, and arise to aid his cause and to magnify his holy name. Let not thine ignorance in human learning and thy inability to read or write grieve thine heart. The doors of his manifold grace are within the mighty grasp of the power of the one true God. He hath opened and will continue to open them in the face of all them that serve him. I fain would hope that this breeze of divine sweetness will at all times continue to be wafted from the meadow of thine heart upon the whole world in such wise that its effects may be manifested in every land. He it is that hath power over all things. He verily is the most powerful, the all-glorious, the almighty. <laughs>